Okay, in Illustrator today we're going to have a look at how we can create this pattern within Illustrator. And one of the key things we're going to do is look at how we create this circle. Okay, so it's a single circle with multiple strokes around the outside to create this kind of banded effect. So we're going to come in, create a new project file. Uh, it'll be letter and landscape. Okay, and then we'll just zoom in. Um, and we're going to begin by grabbing the circle tool, the ellipse tool, from across on the left hand side here. And as we draw out that ellipse, we're going to hold down shift. Okay, now we don't want too big a circle, we want to keep it uh, reasonably small, um, and that will kind of help us to set this effect up. Okay, so the two panels we're going to be working with across from the toolbar on the right hand side here are the stroke panel, so we're going to drag that out, and also the appearance panel, so we'll drag this out so that we can access them nice and easily. Okay, and we're going to expand the stroke panel so that we can see all the options that we need, in particular this align stroke option. And we're going to be aligning our strokes to the outside of the, the shape. Okay, so in the appearance panel, um, we make sure that we've got our shape selected here. We're going to add some new strokes to our shape. Okay, and as we add those strokes, we're going to change the, the width of each of them and also the color to get that banding effect. So our first stroke is going to be 0.5. Okay. And then our next stroke is going to be yellow, and it's going to be three points. Okay, and you can see that we're starting to get this abandoning effect. And the the layers for our strokes stack in the same way as layers in Illustrator or layers in Photoshop stack, where the, the bottom one is obscured by the top layer. So we need to be careful about how we stack these, otherwise we're just going to end up with one big blob of color. Okay, so we'll add a new stroke here, and we're always going to work on the the bottom one, and we're going to make this one. 4.5 points and we're going to make it black and we're going to make sure that it's out aligned to the outside and then we'll just keep going with this always working on the bottom layer and then increasing the size of our strokes so I'm making the yellow part of the stroke um, three points and then the black part of the stroke um, is going to gradually uh, increase okay so let's just uh, make sure we align this outside. We missed that one and we missed this one. Okay, so we're just making sure that we've got all these aligned to the outside of our circle. Let's add a new stroke here, a couple of new ones, a new black one. This one will be 10 points. Okay, once we've got that highlighted we'll make sure it's aligned to the outside okay and then this next one here oh, we missed this one you can see the blob of color starting to build there we've got to align one to the outside and then this next one our next yellow one will be 13 points okay and it's already aligned to the outside and then we'll add one last one and make sure we drag it down to the bottom here and um, we'll align it to the outside we're going to make it black and 17 points okay so you can see we've got these gradually increasing circles okay now let's add the yellow fill for the middle of this shape and this is the the basis of our our shape here okay so this is what we're going to work with and you can see that as we increase or decrease the size of this shape the bands of that circle um, always stay the same point size, the same width, which is quite nice when we're working with an effect like this. So now we can close the stroke and appearance panel. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a little and we're going to use the Alt or Option key to duplicate this. I'm going to hold down Shift so that they stay in line together and then I'm going to grab them both, duplicate again, and then grab them all, duplicate again. This is a quick way of filling up a sheet with oopsie daisy with lots of different objects okay so let's just go to a window and a line and we'll distribute these guys okay and we'll just make sure they're nicely distributed across the whole of our sheet so we might need to add in a or remove a few of these just so that we get some nice distribution. 
we'll just move this onto the edge and then redistribute because we do want that slight gap um, between the different lines here and once we've distributed these and we're happy with the way that they're laid out then we're going to group these together okay so let's just do that one more okay so we've got a little gap there which is what we want um, between these shapes and we'll select these make sure they're aligned and distributed and then we'll group them together okay and now we're going to do the same horizontally vertically rather okay we'll just drag these guys up and then once we've got enough we'll zoom out and just distribute these as well and that's looking pretty good and just align them to the center as well so they're nice and neatly organized okay okay so that's how we create the the first layer of that pattern so we've looked at the stroke tool and how we can set those up now what we're going to do um, to fill this shape up is a couple of things we're going to go to our layers panel we're going to duplicate this layer and we can do that by just dragging this down to the layer here okay and then we're going to lock this background layer and then just using the cursor keys we're just going to offset these shapes okay and we'll zoom in and we're just going to do this by eye just offset those until we're happy with what we have we just want to fill in these white gaps that we have here so we're going to go back unlock layer one and just zoom right out grab the rectangle tool and we have our yellow selected here so we can now create a nice yellow shape here we'll remove that stroke and that's nicely filled that up and we just need to select this rectangle and send it to the back okay and so now we end up with this nice Kind of repeating pattern okay so you can see how we've gone from one single circle um, using the appearance panel across here so if we go to window workspace and we just reset essentials you can see the appearance panel appears across here on the right hand side the stroke panel okay and always remembering to show more options so we can get all the options we need for that stroke panel and then layering it up so we can group things repeat them and use the align tools to actually you know step and repeat things so we can build up this nice uh, pattern quite quickly okay so that's a quick tutorial that we're going to run through today if you have any questions about illustrator um, or photoshop indesign um, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at ben Housel. i'm happy to answer your questions with a tutorial and i look forward to seeing you on the next one